Hi, it's Rolls. It's Joe Fury in the Storm Tribune Weather Center. Four days in a row with a daytime high below 32. Inland, well, yes, we never did that last January. We never had a day below 32. Last January was nine and a half degrees above average. A and so, yeah, we have real winter now. So it's been a, a week of winter basically so far. And the big question is, will there be many more weeks of winter ahead? Keeping in mind that uh, we're eight and a half weeks from the official start of spring, 10 weeks from this weekend is Easter. Uh, so yeah, there are signs February's got some, some winter in it. Uh, so, uh, you know, you snow lovers, uh, we missed out on anything significant today. Next week, we're going up with the temperature. Might have a little snow Tuesday night with a warm front, but rain is in the forecast the end of next week. Uh, but beyond that, it might be a, a little more interesting. Uh, so yeah, as uh, you know who said it ain't over till it's over, we got a long ways to go here. But for now, we've got an Arctic blast coming in. Uh, so it's been a really rough week uh, to our west and especially south. And so this Arctic air is going to go way far south. We have the falling iguana warning. That's actually Baylor's favorite thing, Florida, this weekend, as temperatures are going to be getting down below the freezing mark, even through central Florida. Uh, so for us, so we're going to get wind chills down below zero for the first time this winter. The Arctic blast uh, arriving overnight. Uh, so the idea, you got to bundle up this weekend. Tomorrow, in addition to being a very cold day, will not be a very good looking day. Could even be a widely scattered snow shower. Sunday's the bright day of the weekend, but certainly brisk. And then Monday's fantastic. Who would have ever thought that getting up to 40 was, was going to feel so good? And then even better than that, maybe, as we head through the middle and end of next week, but it gets unsettled. So the wind is going to be gusting tomorrow and on Sunday up in that 25-30 uh, mile per hour range. So the wind is always going to be there, and so is that wind chill. During the day on Saturday, wind chills will range from near zero in the high hilltops to around 10 at the coast. And then wind chills on a much brighter Sunday will be in the teens, but single digits in the hilltops. As the temperatures are in the single digits of the hilltops to start your Saturday in the, uh, we'll say, uh, mid-teens elsewhere. Uh, again, the wind is going to make it feel much colder. Look at that mostly cloudy sky Saturday. Highs in the teens across uh, the higher elevations to, we'll say, uh, the low mid-20s valley on the shore. Again, wind chills all day are in the single digits. And I can't remember if there's a scattered snow shower in there as we go through Saturday into Saturday evening. Then it clears out by Sunday morning. Temperatures with the single digits and teens. Again, keep in mind, the wind makes it feel colder. 20s on Sunday, nice bright day. But the wind chills all day will be in the teens. And then Monday, look at that, highs in the mid to upper 30s with sunshine and, and uh, overall a great feel on, on Monday. And then Tuesday during the day is dry. That's your warm front with a little period of snow uh, that could make it slick into the Wednesday morning commute. And then it's a little bit wet on Wednesday and it's a whole lot wet Thursday into Friday. Uh, so uh, yeah, rain, absolutely not what we want. It's, uh, well, by dawn in the teens with wind chills down in a zero to 10 below range. Wind chills all day tomorrow with lots of clouds and a gusty wind in the single digits. Eight day forecast, nice and bright and sunny. So Sunday's a better looking day of the weekend with temperatures in the 20s for highs, but it's gonna feel like it's in the teens all day and then the mid to upper 30s and it's a super Monday. And then Tuesday's not bad with highs up near 40, but Tuesday night, into Wednesday morning, little snow and mix. That's your warm front. Temperatures can be warmer at the end of next week. You got to watch this time of year. Arctic air is sitting still to the north and uh, well, yeah, a little bit complicated in the weather department the middle and end of next week. At the moment, it looks warmer and wet. And then beyond that, it looks like maybe winter is going to come back again. Uh, so uh, for now, uh, we've got you covered all weekend long, uh, keeping you updated on, uh, on what's happening. Bottom line is stay warm, check the filter in your heating source and uh, make sure the pets are okay and check on the elderly, make sure they've got the heat going and well, just make sure you're bundled up and stay healthy. Hope you're feeling well, have a great weekend, bye.